In today's episode, we'll be talking about the Isolation 2.0 event. We'll also be revealing a new contest and discussing how Magnum will work on the upcoming Eris Hall. Hello, tankers! The new lockdown event, also known as Isolation 2.0, has started. As always, you will need to activate missions inside the special section in the HTML5 or Android version of the game. We've already spoken about this event in the last episode, but today we'll be having a closer look at the rewards. There's a skin container, mines, batteries and supplies to be earned. And then there's the special paint, buckwheat. As you might already know, buckwheat is the snack of choice for Russian developers. It is reported to strengthen against trolling and alien virus invasions, especially when consumed with milk. And now you can get the paint version of this delicious snack by completing the dedicated mission. You may also have noticed two additional paints. One of them, the virus paint, was used by our helpers as part of the Kill the Virus special mission. The reward for completing the mission was the sanitizer reward. The mission was time sensitive, so if you didn't complete it, you missed out. But make sure you keep an eye on the news and vlog, so that you can catch similar missions when they pop up. There are also the special Easter paints, and you have till the end of the weekend to snatch them up. One of them will require you to deliver 25 goals in matchmaking rugby mode. For the other one, you will need to collect 30 nuclear energy boxes. There's not much time left, so hurry up. A new contest is here, Rare Frame. You might remember our Video of the Week contest from some time ago. This one will have similar elements, but should be more entertaining. You will need to shoot a short, interesting video and submit it. It doesn't matter what you do in it. You might catch gold or try to wipe out the entire opposing team using a Sida, anything you wish. But it must be interesting. You have till the 1st of May. Prizes include mountains of crystals and containers. Will you be the one who walks away with the loot? Time will tell. Good luck! The results will be published in the official forum topic for the contest. The link, as always, in the description. The second April challenge started yesterday. Participate, collect stars and get rewards. In the silver tier, the main prize will be 110 coins. But in the gold tier, we've got one of the new skin containers. This container will drop one random cosmetic item from among those that are not in your collection. There are Prime, XT and Legacy skins as well as new paints. Remember, if you want the prizes from the gold tier, you'll need to purchase a battle pass. Last time we talked about the features of the Eris hull. And of course, one of the first questions that came up was, how will it work with Magnum? How? It won't. At least that's one of the options, not being able to equip Magnum on RS at all. The second option is much more complicated. We can make it so that you can only control Magnum with the mouse. Of course, that is not suitable for everyone. Then there is the third option, the reinforced gun carriage alteration, which enables horizontal rotation but disables vertical movement in Magnum, is swapped with the default settings for the turret, and then we introduce the restrictions on this alteration. We are still debating which option is best. In principle, we like all three, but what do you think? Let us know. Good news for everyone playing on European servers. Players from North and Latin America are coming to our servers. This means more players, new faces, more exciting battles, and fresh tactics for you to try. And for our American players, the advantages are even more significant. Before the migration, they had been playing a version of the game that was a few steps behind the European one. For instance, they didn't have access to the mobile version of the game. Additionally, their version contained bugs that players in the European cluster had long forgotten about. Let's welcome our American players with open arms. And loaded turrets, of course. A couple of days ago, we experienced a bug. The Flash version of the game failed to track mission progress properly. Given the current situation, we want to stress the importance of moving to the HTML5 version. The issue that happened with these missions is only the tip of the iceberg. Adobe stopped supporting Flash many months ago, so did all major browsers. The Chrome team have even announced that from October, they will be completely disabling Flash in their browser. We are in a situation where the Flash version of Tanky is now a rapidly sinking ship. We're spending an insane amount of time and energy just to keep it from going under. And despite our best efforts, issues like the one that just happened are going to keep happening. 
and we even expect them to become even more frequent. What's worse, this is slowing down the development of the HTML5 and mobile version, preventing us from making important fixes and updates. So we urge you to move as quickly as possible to the HTML5 or mobile version of the game. We remind you that the HTML5 version offers both a web and downloadable version, which also takes advantage of dedicated graphics cards. While we're still polishing the HTML5 version, we're confident that with your continued feedback, We'll soon be able to give you a version of the game that will be superior to the Flash version in every way. Time for YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best tanky themed videos. What have our YouTubers been up to? First, watch Bigger's Gold Box Montage from Cosmonautics Day. Next, Jay gives us a review of all Cosmonautic Day events from 2011 to 2020. Let's see what has changed over the years. And finally, let's see how Jumper's Mark IV Wasp performed in his hunt for meteorite gold. The grand final of the Masters of the Sword tournament is over. And we have our winners, Penguins. Penguins are the only clan among the top four who had already won the MOTS tournament before. And they have once again proven to be the best railgun players. The grand final against Eternity was a terrific match. At the beginning of the battle, Eternity took the lead by picking the tribute map and securing a draw for the weak side. Then came Red Alert, where Penguins won the round for the blue side and tied for the red. On Barda, Penguins managed to swing the odds in their favor, winning both matches and securing a two-round advantage. Eternity regrouped on the next map, Bridges MM, where they won on the strong side and tied on the weak, bringing the score to 3-2 in favor of Penguins. The final map was Kungur notorious for being a historical Achilles heel for Penguins, while being a strong location for Eternity. In the first round, Penguins played it safe on the defense, attacking a maximum of two tanks and managing a draw. But in the next round, Eternity kept up the unrelenting pressure and delivered the flag, winning the second round and equalizing the score for the whole tournament. But finally, in the decider round, Fear and Champ delivered the blow that secured the title for the Penguins clan. Fun fact for you, the four Penguins players who won MOTS two years ago also played this season. These are their permanent captain, Final Stage, the main attacking hunter, GG Reg, the attacker on Wasp, Assertive, and Widowmaker, who really excelled as a sharpshooter. That's how you do it, guys. Teamwork, practice, and dedication. Congratulations, Penguins, for winning your fourth major tournament in a row. That's all for this week. They say that you can only subscribe to a channel if your IQ is above 30. Check under this video and make sure the subscription button and bell are clicked. And if they're not, what are you waiting for? See ya! Last time, you had to guess which tank Vulcan would destroy with its rubberized rounds alteration. And the correct answer is B. Here are our winners. And here's the new question. 